guys, so I'm back today to review a foundation that, to be honest, hasn't really come out yet, but I have been dying to share it with you guys. And it's going to be on the new Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. This is what they look like. They come in these really cute, like, I would say beigey stick bottles. I have the shades F5, F12 and F14, which I will swatch with you for you guys in a bit. Can't speak today. <laughs> just realized I haven't cleaned up my brows yet I mean, so I think they're even now <laughs> because there's not much information on them since they haven't launched yet but I do have a bit of information from the makeup revolution Instagram page and this they say that there's 18 shades and I've seen the gradient and it's a beautiful gradient Um, yes definitely they can do with a bit more like shades in between but 18 shades for launch is amazing and it's like a nice gradient it's just not like 80% of one kind of range and then like 20% of like a deeper range you know what I mean it says it's going it's coming to tan beauty on the 28th of Feb which is actually very soon I think these are meant to be more of like a medium coverage but I think you can get a full like I feel like you could get a full and um, it's definitely buildable I have tried them already so I'm just gonna show you guys how it applies and show you the finished look and let you guys know how it hit stayed on my skin when I wore it, wore it like I literally wore it for like so many hours um which is so exciting because I was recently on a shoot with Makeup Revolution for their new campaign on this foundation I literally can't wait to see the final video but yeah I, that's what I was um instagramming when on the day like you saw like a camera and stuff and um, yeah so that was the shoot for this I've already tried the foundation and to be honest I really really liked it I, it worked super well with my skin I, I don't have my exact skin tone so what I'm going to do is colour correct a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of my LA Girl. So these are the colour that I have. This is F5, F12 and um, F14. You have the shade names on the bottom. So I'm just going to swatch it for you guys quickly on the back of my hand. This is F5. This is, what the hell is going on with my swatches? That is F12. What the hell is that noise? And this is F14. Here's hopefully a better like image of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my skin. Sorry, that's F5. So F12 looks like a good, you know, I think it works for me. It's definitely more on a more neutral side than I usually have my foundation colours. I'm just going to get a Real Techniques buffing brush. It actually does work really well with a sponge as well because on the sheet I use a sponge. Um, but my sponge isn't like clean so I don't want to... My skin's not doing that well lately so I don't want to like cause more spots. But using an unclean brush. So I'm just going to blend this. As you can see like it's blending really nicely as you can see it blends very easily it's very dewy in my opinion because i put my uh, moisturizer earlier on and it's still quite shiny so i would say definitely powder with this one I didn't on the day but it still worked pretty well like it worked pretty well and funny enough on the day I put it under my eyes and I didn't set with powder I don't think I set with powder and it was okay like I mean I didn't use concealer on a day and it worked but usually I would put my concealer and then highlight it's just a little close up for you guys so like when you build up I feel like you can definitely get a good medium to full coverage out of it um, I'm just gonna put some concealer on. Just gonna blend that. So I'm not sure what these are gonna retail for. I'm guessing like maybe like definitely below ten pounds. I don't think it's gonna be more than ten pounds. Makeup Revolution are really well known for their like amazing prices. Okay, I'm also going to take F5, which is kind of like my highlight shade that had a right tone for me. I'm just going to highlight 
them areas, maybe just a bit under the eyes, I don't want a bit too much. Just blend, blend, blend. They blend so beautifully, like honestly. And I feel like it's good for all skin types, but I feel like if you have dry skin, you're gonna like this. Because it's super hydrating, in my opinion. I'm just gonna grab some powder and set the rest of my face. Bake under there and really press it in. Because I've been getting so much texture lately, I do prefer to have more of a matte base. Right, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is what the foundation looks like after applying all my makeup. Makeup applies so beautifully on top of it. Um, it is very dewy, just keep that in mind because even though I've powdered my whole face, I still look shiny all over. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. I don't know, like, maybe if you are oily, maybe use like um, oil control primer and maybe powder before your foundation, sometimes that helps. Um, but just bear that in mind. But apart from that, I think the foundation looks stunning. And to be honest, the, the really nice thing about this is that it looks like skin. Like, it don't look cakey or anything like that. It looks you. It looks like you have put makeup and I put a lot. Like, I like my full coverage. But if you put a little bit, it literally looks like skin and it just evens out your complexion. I just prefer a full coverage myself. And I think it's called Fast Base because it's just literally supposed to just, like, apply it on and buff it out and then you're ready to go. It's so easy to blend i can't even emphasize enough on that it's so easy to blend and it blends so evenly uh the only thing is i realized once i was doing my makeup that i did not show you guys the contour but shade 14 is like my perfect contour you know like color and again when you contour with this it blends so 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 nice hopefully when the video comes out you'll see me contour with it because i did contour on the shoot but I'm just in a rush, I actually have to go somewhere to an event. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, I have to head out in like 15 minutes. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys will see me do that in the video. But it is a really, really nice contour. Like I, I see myself using the contour a lot because it blends so nice. Um, and I have been into cream contouring a lot lately. I'm pretty sure these are, are going to be super affordable. But I will clarify the price and put it in the info box once I have it. You know, because I don't know what it is yet. Oh, and throughout the day, <clears throat> didn't really give me smart lines. Just like the usual, like, all my other foundations, just a tiny bit. It stayed on all day, and I had it on all day without powder. So definitely a foundation that wears really nicely. I'm pretty sure this has some type of oil in it, I'm because it's really dewy. I have kind of dry combination skin, so if I powder it, it should be fine. Um, but even without, without powder on the day, it sat so nice on my skin, I really enjoyed wearing it. So overall, it's a really good, affordable foundation stick. It's very, the formula is very comparable to the Makeup Forever one. The only thing is the shades are not as yellow for my skin tone compared to the Makeup Forever ones, but the formula, like the way it is so dewy and the way it blends is very similar to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. So I would say it's kind of like a dupe for that, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, thumbs up from me for the 18 shades, thumbs up from me for the price, which I don't know yet, but I know it's affordable. Coverage, blendability, um, longevity, I think it's a good foundation. Here's just a little close up for you guys. It looks so flawless, guys. Sorry, that's my brother's doll. Oh, and I did also have colour corrector and it managed to cover that up. So it's got good coverage, guys. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want me to try any other foundations, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions about the foundation, let me know. And I'll leave all my foundation shades for other foundations in the info box with what lip colour I am wearing. And... I think that's all I have to say. Hmm. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you then. Mm.